Good evening each and everyone. Welcome to this lovely, beautiful Tuesday night show with Zensha where I talk about how to make £100,000 every single year. Like that's the promise on my channel. So if you want to learn about how to start selling on eBay, Amazon and by doing that you will be able to make £100,000 per year, this is the channel for you. What we do in this particular show, that this show, we talk one and one. You know, you guys ask the question inside the chat and I am more than happy to answer any questions that you have about selling on eBay, selling on Amazon, selling on Shopify, anything online business related. I'm more than happy to answer each and everything. So if you are watching in a replay, you might have the similar question in your mind as well. So if you stick around by the end of this video, I can promise you, you're going to learn a lot of things. The things that you probably didn't know before, because that's the whole point of doing this live Q&A, which I try my best to do on a regular basis as well. So everybody hanging inside the live chat, thank you so much for coming in. That really, really means uh, a lot to me. And uh, if you're first time here, my name is Zen Shah. And uh, on this channel, I talk about how to start selling online as well. So all the, my social media is going to be right here. You can see that right here. So if you want to, you know, if you're on a Facebook or Instagram or anything, just look for Hi Zen Shah. You will be able to find me there as well. And if you have any questions, just put them inside the chat and I will be more than happy to answer all of them as well. This show today, this live show today is sponsored by Awesome. Awesome is a, a accounting and bookkeeping solution specially designed for e-commerce seller. So if you are somebody who like, you know, you don't know about how to register the business, how to do tax return, all that kind of stuff as well. They literally charge you £12 and if you go and register the company by yourself, that's also cost you £12 as well. So why not let them actually take care of each and everything? So I have left the link for them inside the description. You know, you will be able to check them out inside the description as well. And thank you so much to Awesome for sponsoring this live stream today. Uh, let's see what's happening inside the chat. How can I start my own eBay and Amazon? That's a great question. General Channel is asking, like, without any delay, we're just going to jump into the question as well. These are, and that's, I think, the only way we're going to be able to answer a lot of them today. So how can I start selling um, my own eBay and Amazon? First of all, you're going to decide what platform you want to sell on. So it can be eBay, it can be Amazon. It really comes down to how much do you know about selling on eBay and Amazon. So if, ask, if you ask me, in my opinion, if you are just starting out, you are, let's say, in a very early basis, you are not selling on eBay, you're not selling on Amazon, I would recommend start selling from eBay. The reason for that is like the platform is very easy to understand at the same time. And uh, during this process, you're going to be learning a lot of things. And a lot of people ask me, Zen, why can't I just sell on eBay and I can sell on Amazon at the same time? That entirely up to you. You can do that. But in my experience, once you try to be everywhere, you end up being nowhere. So you understand one platform and then you think about, OK, well, now I know. And these are the products which are doing really well on eBay. And then you can cross list them over to Amazon. The thing is very simple. I don't know why a lot of people are confused about it in uh, especially 2023 era. If you want to start selling on any platform, eBay or Amazon or anything, especially as I recommend, you can start selling on eBay as well. Just simply go to my channel right here. And this is like my YouTube channel. If you don't know anything, like literally nothing about selling on eBay or Amazon, you go to my channel and you just simply go to the playlist section right here. You can actually see that inside your mobile phone as well. So just when you go into playlist section, you're going to see this playlist called free step-by-step -step videos to start selling on eBay. 
just look at this playlist and it got about uh, how many 30 videos only and literally it's gonna take you one weekend i recommend that's the way i actually arrange them as well so you start watching the first video second video third video and go all the way and it covers pretty much all the basic things that you need to know about selling on ebay anything you're gonna uh, anything you wanna like literally start doing it there is a a little bit of homework that you have to do before luckily we live in 2023 there is a, a lot of things that you can learn online for free nowadays as well and i have this playlist on my channel uh you can get started from here hopefully that will really help you out shooter the next question is how much time should i spend on ebay daily as a beginner uh in my like uh, opinion i think if you can spare about two hours every single day let's say monday to friday you just want to do that uh i think that will be more than enough if you have two hours to spare like literally i understand where your question is coming from you might have like a full-time job and you might not have a lot of hours to spend as well but I will say about two hours, if you can spare about 10 hours every single week in the beginning, you can see like a massive results as well. But this is something obviously the more time you can spend into it, the more improvement you're going to see on your end as well. So that's why I, I suggest like, especially when it comes to running your own business, the good thing about it, like most of the time is not location dependent. So the way i organize my time like i used to organize no obviously everything is systematic and i just follow the system the way i used to just simply do it is like you just have to set your priorities so rather than you spend a lot of time watching netflix or even youtube which doesn't really like not giving you any kind of education or value do you just cut down on that and then spend more time learning how to start selling on ebay and amazon but two hours, like, to be honest with you, I think it's more than enough. You see massive, massive difference, even if you spend two hours as well. Uh, okay. The next question is coming from Uzair Yunus. Sir, how we can start dropshipping on eBay without spending zero dollar? I mean, there are many different ways to start selling without having to like dropshipping is one of the thing where you don't have to spend money up front in order for you to get started. So the reason for that is because you're not buying anything in advance. You are actually just working as a middleman. And there are many different suppliers. For example, CD dropshipping is one of them you they have a lot of items so if you just literally go to let's say I, I will i will show you one right here if you literally go to cj drop shipping and uh, i have a full step-by-step -step video on cj drop shipping as well uh you can link your ebay store with them and then depending on wherever you are either you are in uk you are in america you are in china they have a, a local warehouse in those different countries as well so for example i am in the uk and then i go to the uk warehouse and i see a lot of different different types of item which are on sale right here and the thing is like you don't need to buy them in advance they are there inside their warehouse so if your account is linked with CJ Dropshipping, you can just simply click on list and that product will be listed. You can obviously, this one is $13. You can list it for $19. Obviously you have to, I'm just giving you a surface level of things. Obviously you have to spend a little bit of time thinking what product will be worth selling at the end of the day as well and how much profit margin you can put on the top. But uh, the the once you get the order that's once you're gonna place the order for your customer so you're not really spending any money up front in order for you to get started with this business so hopefully that answered your question uh right there uh the next one we have is uh, again uzair yunus i'm your biggest fan i'm your biggest fan too trust me i am i am nobody without you uh the next question is like i have uh, is coming from summer ballet sharp i hope i'm pronouncing everything right 
I have sold the things I didn't need at home. That's a good way to get started at least. But now I want to sell more. What should I sell on eBay? So that's a very good question. Whenever you are, uh, you know, I, I normally the people who are not familiar with my content, I try to divide selling on selling online journey into three different kind of sections as well. So the first of all, you know, a lot of stuff around inside our house, which we no longer need. I hope I like I wished I could move my camera to a different places so I could actually show you. Like literally there is a lot of stuff in this room where I'm sitting, which I personally no longer need. And, and if I look around the entire house and if you do the same for your house as well, there will be at least like I would say, like in a worst case scenario, thousand pound worth of stuff which you're not using at this point as well. So that's your like entry point. This is where you take picture and you list that stuff. That's you started. So in a second stage, which will answer your question as well, what you can do is like uh, you look in the local shops. So there are many shops like Poundland, Asda, Argos, and a lot of time they have like uh, offers in their stores. So the, the product is on at a discounted price. You can pick up a local stuff from there. Like this is literally how I started the business as well. So I used to, I, and I done many videos on it as well. I used to go to my local shops like Poundland, you know, Asda, look the stuff there and then just literally take that stuff and then I sell it online. And uh, then on the third stage, like in, in a second stage, you can obviously do drop shipping as well, which I just literally was showing to uh, someone else, which was uh, like there are many other suppliers, for example, CD drop shipping. And then there is a supplier called uh, Sales E. You know, there are, I, I have a full video on my channel. So if you just literally go right here, like on a YouTube, and then you just say Zen Shah eBay UK suppliers. So if you just literally search that, like I have many videos on the local suppliers and how you can find the products from the local stores as well. So that's your kind of second stage where you can move on to this particular stage where you're looking the stuff from a local shop and, you know, drop shipping, all that kind of stuff as well. And on a third stage, like hopefully at this point, like I honestly know a lot of people, they just sell from like a local store. They just do drop shipping and they make like, like a full time income. But if you want to scale a business, then obviously you need to have more control over your inventory and the kind of products that you want to sell. You need to know the quality of those products as well. So at this third stage where I recommend, okay, well, you look out the suppliers on Alibaba or any, it can be a local suppliers as well, like a supplier based in UK, and then you can buy the stuff in a bulk. At this point, you don't even need to do your packing and shipping. Like you can even outsource your fulfillment as well. There are the companies like the one I use called Hubbo. Like whenever I buy something from China, I just simply send it straight to them. So they do store each and everything and they do the packing and shipping at the same time. And the same thing if you're selling on Amazon, you know, at the third level, I, I also say like start like cross listing your items. So anything you sell on eBay, start selling that particular item on Amazon as well. And Amazon have their own fulfillment center. So the same thing, you can just simply send the inventory to Amazon and they can take care of packing and shipping and everything. But oh, like seriously, all you have to do in this particular time, like the one thing that you can do, which is like really you're gonna be doing a favor to yourself is staying consistent. So if you stay consistent during this period of time, like you're going to see massive, massive results uh, there. Uh, let's go to the thing. What problem can we face starting eBay and Amazon from Pakistan? The biggest problem is like eBay and Amazon is not available natively in Pakistan. So legally, not legally, like according to their terms and condition, you need a local bank account. So you can't even create an account. So what I recommend the people who are living in Pakistan or in a country where these platforms are not natively available, you find somebody who is living in UK or Europe or America and then partner up with them. And that's how you can work on a partnership 
like other than i see many people from pakistan they say this is how you open a paypal or this is how you open an ebay account all of them are just simply uh they are like uh, not most reliable ways to actually do a business so i don't recommend unless you have someone you can partner up with them that will be great they have a multiple ebay and amazon account using uh, a same limited company and a bank account yes i use the same bank account i use the same limited company you don't need to have a separate bank account for each and every account that you're going to create like ideally if you can that will be a good idea but the the thing is like you have to be aware of like if you are using multiple account then first of all why you are using them you know what i mean so i use two ebay accounts the reason i use them because one of them is just my main account and the second account which i like kind of make a videos about it like you know a lot of people they once i started making a video they was like okay but well, you are selling from last 10 years how can somebody who will join ebay today and start selling on ebay or amazon today how they can compete with the the sellers who are very much established in this space as well so i created another account just to prove the point like you can literally do this in 2022 2023 like you don't have to be like somebody who started a business 10 years ago they say best time to plant a tea tree was i don't know 100 years ago or today like it's all um uh, so coming back to the point where you were saying the same bank account i just used the same month but if you are somebody who is thinking about okay well there going to be risk my account might get banned then you need to keep in mind like if your one account is going to get banned then the chances are your other accounts will get banned as well because you are linking them with the same limited company you're linking them with the same um uh, bank account you're linking them you know using the same wifi all that kind of stuff as well so you have to be careful but for me like there is no risk everything which i do is like according to ebay terms and condition according to amazon terms and conditions so i'm not violating any kind of uh, their terms and condition or policy so i'm not really afraid uh, of getting my account banned um the next question is and so what and so what if i am starting with 0 pound can i use a personal account and set the things into the motion first absolutely you can do that you can use a personal account you can use your own personal bank account as well and then just get started with it absolutely fine there is nothing wrong with that so as you grow then you can actually look into scaling business like you know now today you started with a personal account tomorrow you might upgrade that you were thinking okay well my personal account is limited now i can just upgrade it to a business account so i will have just simply more uh, allowance to sell on ebay like business account normally have more allowance to sell as well so at that point you can just be like okay well now i'm going to just you know go on to uh, a business account i'm just going to upgrade that to a business account and then you think about okay well now i'm you know I am at the stage where I can just simply register a limited company. You can just simply register a limited company at that point as well. So, all I say, like literally, get started with whatever you have and whatever you can at that particular time. And uh, I can't like I can't tell you like how much it gonna change your life, but if you stay consistently. and you try to learn new things each and every day it gonna change your life <laughs> like seriously seriously and while sitting here while you know here i am a, a immigrant into this country into the uk i came you know about 11 years ago now and uh, i never and this is all i i'm trying to be you know at the same time trying to be humble where i'm i, I am telling you this i never imagined in my life that i will be able to make this much money like seriously i'm i'm i'm, I'm saying that and until today i just simply cannot believe as well <laughs> and it's just you know uh 
staying consistent you have to realize like once you are working somewhere it's good as long as you're putting a food on a table like we like sometimes job is only option but if you are working somewhere you are you have a job then where do you see yourself in next 10 years like you're spending almost 40 50 hours every single week and if you're gonna continue doing like this, where are you gonna see yourself in 10 years? You're gonna be maybe 5,000 more. Let's say, let's suppose you're making 30,000 pound a year now. I can guarantee you for after five years or 10 years, you maximum the increase that you're gonna get in your salary gonna be maybe 10,000 pound. Like that's literally per year. I, I, I don't think any job will just say, okay, well, 10 years from now, your salary will be double. That I don't see that happening with anyone. Uh, but the business, if you are able to, as I said in, a, in, a, in the beginning as well, if you can even spare like one hour every single day, little by little, you are building something on a side which is going to pay you off one day. You know what I mean? How long it's going to take, that entirely depends on how quickly you can learn and how quickly you can implement and how consistent you are. But you are working for yourself. You are your own boss. You are, like, other than being your own boss, like, you are building an asset for yourself, like, which you can probably pass down to your kids as well. That's not the case for the job. Because this particular system right here it designed to, you know, I, I don't want to be one of those guys who is just sitting down and blaming the system all the time. But if you really think about it, this system right here is literally designed to keep you poor. And I give you one example. You know, we, we grow up and the, the first thing that we do, like, you know, get education and then we go to university, right? The people who are are from UK, they are very familiar. I would say over 90% of the student who go to university, they get student finance. Like literally they take a loan. If somebody don't understand what the student finance is, they literally take a loan from a government to pay their fee in the university to pay, you know, obviously other expenses as well. Once they finish the university, and they start their first job, they spend a lot of a lot of time literally, literally paying that loan back. That's the first thing. So let's say you're getting 1500 pound, then after that, you need to deduct the money that you took from the government first as well. Then you have like a 20% income tax on the top of that 9% national insurance number. And then you say, okay, well, now that's fine. My student finance is coming down. Okay, well, now what I need to do, I need to buy a house. Then the bank come and they sell you another product, which is a mortgage. Okay, now you are slave for the bank for next 25 years. Literally, you are, the point which I'm trying to make, like for your entire life, you are literally either working for a government, like to probably pay the student finance back. And the next thing you are, I know a lot of people, they literally even finance their weddings as well. People don't have enough saving to actually fund their weddings. And then the mortgage and Every single, I wouldn't say every single car, I'd say a lot of cars on the road nowadays are also under finance. So you are, in your entire life, you are working for rich people to make them more rich. That's how the things are. So the sooner you try to kind of build something for your own and make people work for you, you know, make everything like I give you one example, right? Okay. I, and I talked about it another day as well. I, I seen a documentary which was on uh, channel five and I, I don't know what was that. I can actually uh, pull up right here. I, I, I really recommend that everybody just go ahead and watch that. And I will come back to the questions as well. Just give me one minute because this is super important. Okay. It was a British gas, right? British ga gas breaking in. If you just search that, it's going to come up. So this was a documentary <laughs> right here. I have been so what's happened, Hello, like British this one is sitting at 130. Well. So it was posted by uh, the Times and Sunday Times as well. So this is, in this documentary, they show that the people who are on, uh, 
uh, the people who are on a postpaid payment meters, not on a prepaid one, where you have to top up for the gas and electricity. If somebody didn't pay the bill, and in this like cost of living, honestly, like it's very hard for many families to actually just have a heating on all the time. It's not like an easy thing to do nowadays. Like because the bill from literally maybe 90 pound a month to 100 pound a month is to 250, 300 pound a month. And it's like, you know, people income is staying where it used to be. So these people, they are literally breaking into the people house and changing their post, uh, post pay meter into pay as you go meter because they didn't pay the bill. So now if they need to obviously have a gas and electricity, they need to top up. And not just that, every time they're going to top up, let's say you go, they came and they changed the meter and you put 20 pound inside, they, they're going to take 10 pound off because they, you need to pay the bill, which you didn't pay as well. But at the same time, um, I, I haven't finished there. That's the point. The Shell company, which is an oil and gas company, Shell made, I think, 232.22 billion. It's going to give me exact number, but that's what I, I think, right? Uh, here. In, in this particular time, Shell 2022 profits was around $40 billion, which is about $32 billion in pound as well. And at the same time, Shell paid almost zero tax in this particular time as well. So if you look right here, uh, and okay, so their profit margin was $26 billion. I think that's wrong. It's about $32 billion. And they paid zero tax in 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 all that time and on the top of that they receive a subsidy for the government which is about 100 million pound as well so how it is fair where this oil and gas company who is literally controlling each and everything making substantial amount of money and also receiving the money from a government 100 millions not paying any tax but the people on the other side like people like me and you if we in this cost of living crisis, like literally there are many families, if they don't pay their bill, these guys come over and they literally cut their connection as well. So the point which I'm trying to make is like hold this system is literally designed to keep you like that. It's, it's just literally designed to keep you poor. Uh, anyway, hit the like button and let's go to next question. I, I went a little bit off the track there as well okay uh the next question is from nightbot zen is not answering my question i don't know bro the question is first come first serve type of thing so i'm going through the list when i come to your question i will just answer it as well so please just once you leave a question if you're in rush then you can go like i'm not really asking you to pay me something so i will answer your question so you have to be a little bit like, you know, uh, I, I am literally going to come to all the questions right here. That's the, 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 the point which I'm trying to make. Uh, if we get the order on eBay, did I miss something on the top? Uh, I think did I? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I finished that one. I finished that one too. Uh, and then... Do you recommend Amazon wholesale or private label? It really depend on your budget at the end of the day. But if you ask me, obviously private label is a way to go. You have more control. You got more profit margin. Uh, it's your product at the end of the day as well. You can customize it. You can build your own feedback. You can build your own reviews. You can like literally have let's say 50,000 views reviews on Amazon and you can start your own website based on that that one as well like you are literally building a brand for yourself the wholesale is just same like you're working as an agent for a product which already exists so private label obviously if you got money to go for it why not uh can you please recommend the product research tool for Amazon so jungle scout is a great tool let me show you the screen right here uh 
that will be highzenshah.com forward slash jungle scout hopefully that will take me there yeah jungle scout is a great tool check that up i'm gonna put the link for that inside the description there are like a hundred and hundreds of videos on um, jungle scout uh let's go to the next uh, question right here uh, the next question is coming from uh, med educators md shopify or ebay for drop shipping what is your personal and uh, business what is your personal and uh, business ebay account so Shopify and eBay dropshipping really depends on the uh, life. If you ask me, I will say eBay. The reason for that, because Shopify is uh, not a marketplace. So Shopify is just basically a tool. You can call it a tool, which help you design your own e-commerce website. You know what I mean? So designing a website is not the problem. Like, but how the customer gonna know that this is the website so which means you will have to run paid ads like a google ads or facebook ads which can be expensive at the same time but the thing about ebay and amazon like they are marketplaces at the end of the day so once you list something there are the buyers who already come to ebay and amazon and they look for the item so in my opinion like i think if you're starting with a drop shipping starting with ebay and amazon is way better than the uh, starting on uh, what you call it uh, on Shopify. Uh, Wombat. I I use a. Are you the Wombat which I am thinking you are that Wombat because I use this investing app called Wombat and I invest in stocks and share uh, in in the app. Anyway, Zen, you inspired me to start reselling from Alibaba to eBay in December and I have made 150 sale with one to two pound profit per item as well. Way to go, man. Way to go. Seriously, when I started, I, I, I remember the first time when I bought something, I made maybe, I don't know, 33 pound profit one month. Like from 33 pound profit to 15,000 pound profit every single month is not bad, isn't it? But the thing is, and I, a lot of people, I got about 50 people watching at this time and only 13 likes. I don't know what you guys are doing, but hit the like button. That's the first of all. A lot of people, and I know that, and you, it might be you, I'm talking to you at this point. You listen to all of this stuff, like whatever I'm saying, or you may watch many other channels as well, but you never, never gonna open an account and you never gonna get started. I know a lot of people. And this is the first step is to take action. If you need to change something about your life, you can't be doing the same thing, which other 99% people are doing as well. And uh, you might feel bad about it. I don't know. But you can do it. You need to believe in that. You need to get started. Today, let's say there was a £2 profit. You made £300, you know, from this one. Now you know, like you proved to yourself that if I do this on a consistent basis, I can make a lot of money from it as well. So seriously, hats off. And you pass the first step, which a lot of people don't even pass over that one as well. Now, your next question is, will selling on Amazon get me a better margin for the same item? Really depends on the product. I, I wished I could have a more clear answer, but it really depends on the product. Generally, item looks like they are selling for the higher price on Amazon, but once you consider the storage fee, and once you consider the Amazon fee, uh, the profit margins are same at the end of the day as well. So it really depends on the product at the end. Uh, and I think you you are thinking about that. That's why you asked the next question is as in how bad are fee on Amazon versus eBay? 
The fee is almost similar, but the thing with Amazon, like if you're not doing your own packing and posting, then you're gonna send the stuff to Amazon where they're gonna store it. So they're gonna charge a storage fee. It depends on the size of item. And then it also, uh, obviously once they do the fulfillment as well. So it, the fee can be a little bit expensive. That's why like a lot of item looks like they are going for the higher price on the Amazon. My eBay shop sales are drastically down. I did everything you suggested. How else I can improve? Let me tell you one thing, okay? Right here. Now, give me just literally one second. Okay, I'm back. This is the first quarter of the year, and trust me, the sales are always like that. So sometimes you do all the right things, but there isn't enough demand in the market. So on average, I let's say I used to get three to four hundred orders every day. Now I'm I'm somewhere sitting in the range of maybe hundred and fifty to two hundred. So my personal sale is also fifty percent down. It's not new. I'm very used to it now because that's how the things are. You pass the Christmas and then the sale just go down. The sale will start to pick up from March and hopefully from there it's only get better. Like from March to onward December. January and February are very slow normally. Uh, so hope that could be the case uh, right here. Adam, ask is, uh, Adam is asking a question. Should I have my personal account or business account on eBay? Uh, I, I think I, I did uh, I did that uh, uh, I did ask before uh, was uh, get started with whatever you can it doesn't really matter at this point get started with what you have what you can start with a personal account use your own personal bank account and just get started because selling on eBay and Amazon is something like online business or any business for that kind like any business, you learn more when you have hands-on experience, when you are practically doing the things. So once you're doing it, you are stuck at one particular thing. Okay, well, I don't know how to list this item. And then you just like, you know, Google it. But right now, the, the problem with us, like uh, starting something imperfectly is way better than thinking about perfection and not starting, but the not starting. And the problem with a lot of people, they are just thinking about perfection all the time. Uh, imposter syndrome all the time. I don't know if I can do it. Uh, I don't know that. Uh, I don't have a time. Oh, I, I have this. I go to the job. Like literally, like that's what people think all the time. And that's not how you change anything in your life. Uh, it's it's not gonna happen. Sulman Ashraf, sorry to ask uh, such kind of question. I, I don't even remember what that question did you ask. Uh, need a 3PL in the UK. Hubbo, you can Google it. Uh, H-U-B-B-O. That's a good option as well. And uh, there are many. Just, just Google, honestly. A lot of them are there. Hi guys, hope you're all well. Thank you so much for Bargain Hunter UK asking a question. Uh, next question is Zed. In dropshipping from Amazon to eBay, if Amazon suspend a buyer account, can I make another buyer account with the same bank detail? When it comes to buying the item on Amazon, you know, using Amazon account as a buyer, Amazon do not care, trust me. You can create as many accounts you want and once the account will get banned, just simply create another one. You're going to be fine there as well. Uh, let's go to the next question. And now is Ar Armagan Tariq asked me this question right here. Please answer. I, I did answer it already. Zed, will you make more content on Zed Shah Desi? I'm looking so forward to it. I will try. I will try, man. Don't worry about it. Uh, Vaseem Yusuf, how do you how do you sell in USA? I don't sell in USA. I just I just do drop shipping in USA, but I don't really like you know 
sell in the USA physical items. I don't do that. Uh, the next question is like, guys, how much time is what's what's the time? How long we've been live for? Almost for I don't know how long. But put your question inside the chat. There are a lot of them, and I'm gonna try to go through like each and every one. But I'm gonna be doing like a, a rapid fire kind of thing as well because I just got the the message from uh, from the house, like dinner is ready, so I'm gonna run. Uh, okay, let's go to the next one. Very make more. Okay, that's what done. You was right. You didn't go off the track. The system is designed to keep you poor unless you step up and make a little steps as well. Exactly right. Because it you have to step up. I'm not asking you to become one of those guys and throw the tomato soups on the painting. That does not help. I'm not asking people to go out and protest. That doesn't help. But the thing is, it's your life. You need to make a decision for yourself. And you need to take the control of your life and live the life according to your own terms. Government is not going to come to bail you out. No politician going to come to bail you out. They just want to get more rich. That's the way the things are at the end. Which sites like CJ Dropshipping and Salesy can you buy the products in bulk and sell physically from home rather than dropship the item? There are like loads of different different suppliers if you want to buy uh, the, the items. Uh, I, I, I show you one thing. So if you're looking to buy the item, like a physical item, you go to Google and go to UK Wholesale Directory. Google that one. And then this is the wholesale.co.uk right here. And then this is like a directory where you can find out A to Z wholesale suppliers. So depending on whatever the category you want to, like, you know, all of different, different types of items. So this is like a directory. So let's say you want to buy, I don't know, lifestyle item i don't know what gonna come up so a lot of different different suppliers gonna come up for that like for example right here 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 you can click on them and then there are many other directories like a business directories you can just simply look into that one uh if you're looking to buy like uh, the item on the like on a wholesale let's go to the next question Okay. Have you tried online arbitrage on Amazon? Yeah, I, I mean, I, 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 I done drop shipping, online arbitrage, wholesale, private labeling. A again, I said, every single thing is going to have their pros and cons. So either if it's a wholesale or either it's a, a, a private labeling or either it's an online arbitrage. That's why I say at whatever level you are, you know, you have to, I'm a kind of person or I think you have to be, you look at the glass half full. Don't look at the glass half empty. At this point, wherever you are, whatever you can, get started. That's my point. Get started with it and you're going to find the way as well. Uh, every single way out there, you can make great money, but you have to look at the things on like, uh, you know, more positive side of it. Uh, let's go to the next question. If you add, okay, yeah. Uh, when can when I can ask any question? Wrestling King, that would have been perfect place for you to ask a question. Uh, the next one, if you add more products daily, does it drive more traffic to your website? In my opinion, it's just a myth, to be honest with you. Uh, obviously it does drive more traffic to your to your store or to your site because you're simply listing more items you know what i mean but if you're thinking about i have five products listed already i'm gonna list five more products and then there will be more people coming to existing five products that's not gonna happen you know i think every listing have have their own place and they stand on their own feet as well 
So by just listing more and like some people there are saying you, you should list every day because it, it improves the traffic to your store. Yes, it does because it's just simply listing more item. But it doesn't improve the traffic to your existing listing. That is entirely going to depend on how well optimized are those listing. They are not going to have any impact by simply you listing more items. So hopefully that uh, clears uh, the thing. A lot of people have this uh, as well. Okay, the next one, for example, if we have a 50 drop shipping account, you sold like 500 items daily. So you have to make 500 transactions. Are you buying that 500 pieces from same personal account? There are, okay, so if you are, listen, so if you are, and obviously you gave me examples, so I'm going to give you a, a appropriate answer as well. There are many different dropshipping tools where you can set up auto ordering as well, and you can use their Amazon account. So if you are at level where you can selling 50 different products at 50 different stores, then obviously you are like sending 500 products daily, right? At this point, if you're making 500 sales, then you more than afford to pay for some kind of software which can process the order for you. And many softwares have that option inside. When you don't have to use your own account, you can just simply use their Amazon account and set up the auto ordering inside their software as well. But if you are processing, let's say 10, 20, 50 items every single day, that wouldn't be a problem. Uh, the next one is like, thank you so much. So, uh, thank you, Zen. Much love. Thank you so much. Uh, the next one, thank you so much. Your videos are gold dust for me. Straight to the point, understandable, valuable information and eye opener. Thank you so much for that very kind words. I try my best. I try my best. The next one is Zen. Can we sell the popular brands on eBay without receiving an IP violation? Well, you can try your luck. A lot of people do that and they, they get away with it as long as they get away with it. Because there is no like a yes and no answer, to be honest with you here. Like ideally, you, you want to stay away from those products because there are hundreds of different products you can sell without having to face any kind of problem. But uh, a lot of people, they want to sell those products as well. And uh, honestly... You get away with it as long as you get away with it. If you are lucky, which you might be lucky, uh, just try. If it's get banned, then don't just don't just tell me Zen said it's not gonna get banned. <laughs> but it it like some people have a problem, some people don't have a problem. There is no like a, there is, there are no rules uh, for that. Uh, the next question is. Uh, how can I transfer USA account into UK account? I don't want to pay, get charges 4% extra to convert. Oh, so you want to transfer, I don't know, for how can I transfer USA account into a UK account? I don't want to get charged 4% extra to convert. These are the charges you have to pay at the end of the day unless you have an account native in that country. But anytime you're going to convert something from one currency to another currency, they obviously going to charge you money for that one as well. And there is no way around it. After you submit manual, uh, after submit manually bank account for eBay, how they verify my account and when can I start listing? So once you put the, your uh, account details manually, then they will do a transaction in your account. So... It's it, it going to be different for your account. It can be 5p or 10p, but then they're going to ask you how much money did we send it to your account. So normally they do two transactions. So you have to come back to eBay and you need to put in the eBay like how much money was sent into your account. Normally it's less than 10p. So they might do one transaction for 5p and do one transaction for 4p. And then you need to come back you will receive a notification inside your eBay account where you need to put like how much money eBay sent and that's how they verify. Uh, and as soon as verified, you can start listing after that. Uh, let's go to the next 
question right here. Why do the fee or the fee calculator say I will make minus nearly every product I find? You might be looking at bad products which are making loss at the end of the day. So that could be the case. I, I can't think any other answer. Uh... How can I get mentorships of yours? So I do have a course to sell on uh, eBay. And the link for that is inside the description. And then the course, uh, like it comes with the support. So one for one month, you can like literally, you, you get to ask me questions one and one and I can help you out. And the link for that is uh, inside the description. Like I think the first link will be inside the description. You can check that out right there. But we have like a great reviews and, uh, you know, testimonials from the previous students as well. Uh, the next question is like Amazon Prime ID got account suspending after placing few orders. Just play, just open another one. That wouldn't be an issue. Uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, who is saying Zen? You're selling all cap right here as well. Uh, let's go to the next question. Actually, I was asking to make a, a several Amazon buyer account on a bank. Yeah, you can make like when it comes to buy an account, you can create as many you want. That won't be a problem. Sir, if we get the order on eBay, then first we pay to CJ or CLZ for their products and later the eBay pay us? Yeah, that's how it works. Like, you know, first we place the order, then customer receive their products, and then you receive the money inside your bank account. Uh, sir, I purchased your course, your mentorship backup support, because I, I could not get the sales yet. So everybody who is in the course, it comes with the support. So you can email to... I'm going to put the... I'm going to put this one here, support at highzsha.com. So send an email right here. And then somebody will get, get in touch with you. Uh, let's go to the next question right here. Is uh, right, uh, right now, I am selling on eBay USA, but after placing few orders, my buyer account got suspended and temporarily blocked. Do you have any suggestions? Just create another one. That will be fine. How should I find uh, the profitable products on Amazon for free to sell on eBay? Uh, you can, what you can do is, you know, go right here on Google and then Amazon best sellers depending on whatever the market like for example i am in the uk i'm gonna search uk right here and uh, then amazon actually give you the list of best sellers so you want to stay away from like these branded types of item because you don't want to compete with the brand but you can choose by category to category as well so for example i go to computer and accessories right here like this cable right here, obviously you need to, then you're not using any kind of tool here. So if you're doing it for free, then you need to compare the things manually as well. So this, these are the products which are fast selling products. So you can compare the prices back and forth, you know, that, that like a free way to, uh, to do it. That obviously going to take more time, but that's what happened once you are not using any kind of paid tools. Hi Zen, I am uh, a new starter after listening to your video. Okay, that one right here. Uh, when you say you sell 150 products a day, do you pack and post your, all of yourself? No, no, I, I don't do my own packing and shipping. So anything I sell on Amazon that's fulfilled by Amazon, they do the packing and shipping. And for eBay, I have a, a company called Hubbo. They do store and they do packing and shipping as well. Uh, let's go to the next question. Hi, Zen. I am a, a new starter after listening to your video. I am confident to start on Amazon. Please tell me how can I list my products on Amazon and also PPC uh, to get my products to be seen as well. So look, these questions are very, very simple. I, I tell you how to do that as well. 
you see this one right here. You said the question, you said, uh, how can I list my product on Amazon? You copy that one. Then you come to YouTube right here and just simply put on that one. And there will be 100 different, different types of video. People are walking, like including myself right here, you know. People are literally walking you through step by step how to start, how to do listing. And once you are with the listing, then you can, what you got next one right here. You got PPC, right? How to run PPC campaign on Amazon right here. Look, guys, 2023, these things are not literally difficult. So there are like a lot of a lot of different people right here. The only thing is anything you're going to get started, you go, you're going to have a dedication. Like you're going to sit, you have, you're going to, this is the only way to learn. You're going to have to sit down there and you need to go through these videos one by one. It's not easy, but nobody going to do it for you. You know what I mean? So there are literally answer to each and every question nowadays in this time of internet, but you're just going to have to have a patience to look for them. Uh, the next one right here is, uh, I am trying to register my account as a business one, but they ask me to provide the a number of my company. Also, can I list uh, quickly 50 items on the first day as well? So David, you might not be able to, first of all, you might not be able to list 50 items from the first day because uh, I don't know, you didn't mention the platform. So I'm just assuming it's a eBay or it might be Amazon, but you have like a limit how many items you can list. You know, that really depends on what type of account you have. So for example, on eBay, if you have your personal account, you might be only limited to selling 10 items a month in the beginning. But as soon as you're going to sell those 10 of them, you can request eBay or Amazon to increase that limit. That, that won't be an issue for you. And uh, what was your other question? I'm trying to register an account as a business one, but they asked me to provide a, a, a number for my company. So you can register for a business account, but there are two ways to register business account as well. So either you can register as a sole trader where you don't need to register a limited company, or if you want to go and register as a limited company, then you need to register a limited company first. So that only costs you 12 pounds to register it. And uh, there is a company called Osa I mentioned in the beginning of this video as well. Uh, they are, like you can reach out to them. The link for that is inside the description. They only charge you twelve pound, and they will do all the registration for you, and everything will be ready, like your your documents and each and everything. So they can guide you through the registering process and everything as well. And it's just cost like literally twelve pound, and if you go do it yourself, it's also cost twelve pound as well. So just let them take care of each and everything. Just easy. Uh, let's go to the next uh, question right here. When do you worry about tax and when selling on a private account, please? Thanks. You always have to pay tax either you are. And this is like a, a misconception that a lot of people have. If you, if you are selling on a private account, you don't need to pay tax on it. That's not true. Like HMRC, you know, if you are... A, Either you have a private account, you have a business account, you have whatever account. That is just according to eBay terms and conditions. That got nothing to do with HMRC. At the end of the day, you need to declare the income, how much money you are making as a self-employed person as well. But if you want to be somebody like you don't want to pay your taxes, then you know, you can get away as long as you get away. But once you don't, once uh, your bad time will come, then either you were selling on a private or you were selling on a business, that doesn't matter. Like, you know, tax man will come for you. <laughs> uh, then uh, let's go to the next question. I don't know why people are like so much afraid of tax. There isn't much like up until 12,570, you don't pay anything. And then you only pay the tax on the profit that you make. And there are so many expenses that you can legally claim. You know what I mean? So you need, once you are running a business, trust me on this one. 
and that might like you know a lot of people gonna feel bad about it as well you can't run a, a multi-million pound business and that's what you need to think about it right once you're selling on ebay and amazon i give you one example right here right i show you the payout for today i'm talking about right i will show you I'm gonna give you a little bit sneak peek right here so that's like literally this month right here you know what i mean that's a bank account once you're receiving that level of money every single month in your account, you can't hide it. If you, your mentality is just, I'm going to make £10, £20, £50, that's not going to make you rich. That's a job mentality. You know what I mean? you got to think bigger. Once you're thinking bigger, then the thing is at the end of the day, you need to comply with the tax. You need to comply with the laws. You need to comply with these types of things as well. And you need to make yourself familiar with these type of things. A lot of people, you know, and I, I give this example always, and I say, we all want to go to heaven, but nobody is willing to die. <laughs> you know, uh, once you gonna have that type of mentality, it's not gonna take you anywhere. To run a business where you're gonna be receiving thousands and thousands of pounds into your account every single day, you know, and if your mentality will be, I'm going to claim a universal credit at the same time, it's not going to help. Then you're going to spend the rest of your life claiming universal credit. It's not going to be like that. So if you're thinking about becoming rich and financially free, you know, that's not a universal level, universal credit type of discussion. You know, you need to grow above that mentality. Uh, there is like not so much you can do when it comes to paying taxes. So you need to go by book. And uh, at the end of the day, once you make money, you are making, let's say, £100,000 a year. You know what I mean? Paying somebody out of that to pay tax, when you're going to be using your NHS, you're going to be using road, you're going to be using all that kind of stuff as well. It's not going to... It's not going to hurt you, isn't it? You are making money and you're paying the tax on your profit. You're not like literally make. If you are losing money, then you're not paying any tax on it as well. So you're gonna have to little bit. You're gonna have to little bit. You know, think above that, please. I didn't mean to offend anybody personally, but it's all start here. It's all like it's it's all your mindset, and we say. In our language, we say, Baat karodo ki and dukaan pakodo ki. I don't know how to translate that. If somebody understands Punjabi, if they can write this thing in the English inside the comment, because you might not be able to rhyme these things together. But it's like, you can't talk about millions once you're selling pakodas on your shops. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you can't. It, it doesn't suit you. So, uh, that's my thing at the end of the day. Come on, like, little bit. Think, think about that. A lot of people are just freaking stuck on, shall I open a private account or shall I open a business account? Oh, if I open a business, if I open a personal account, uh, you know, everything going to be private and I don't have to pay tax on it. Oh, wow. Because I need to claim universal credit at the same time. A lot of people need that. I'm not making fun of that. But the thing is, once you are running business, even you are claiming universal credit, it's not going to impact that. You are trying to hide. You are, you are just leaving the opportunity on the table to make 100,000, 150,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, 500,000 pound making that every single year and people are not starting because because they know if they're gonna go and register a business they're gonna lose their fucking 1500 pound universal credit every single month you know i'm not like seriously i'm not i hope you're understanding my point i'm not coming from a place where i'm making fun of people who are claiming universal credit 
they deserve that you know but the people who are on a universal credit they don't even want to stay there if you go and ask them they don't want to stay there they want to do something they want to do in their life but uh, yeah it is talking about crore shops yeah it it so if always and, and then i i get a lot of these type of question and, and, and that make me also a little bit angry and i tell you that why uh a lot of people ask me how can i how can i do this product research as quickly as possible without using any kind of paid tools and i think to myself like that tool which you are trying to look the which you are trying to look some free options like i understand there are some tools out there they are simply rip off right and you have to look there are free options as well like if like i'm i'm a kind of guy i think about okay well if i need to take uber it's okay if i share the car with somebody so i'm going to order uber pool i don't need uber executive i i need to go from a to b uber executive will be waste of money right but when it comes to tool those tool maybe cost about 10 pound 12 pound 15 pound every single month like no that expensive once you go outside to a a, a restaurant or you go to a, a coffee shop or you go to a kebab shop or you go to i don't know mcdonald shit anything like that how much money do you spend there how much money you pay for your netflix how much the mobile like be honest put that inside the chat right now i want to i want to know now just let's do around 50 people are watching and be honest 100% honest with yourself please don't don't make this shit up with me please the mobile that you are watching which is very likely you're watching on a mobile how much that mobile worth you know how how much it worth i would say 90% of the people who are watching this live stream at this point they would have a mobile worth over 500 pound for sure exactly 100% sure yes there will be 10% of people who might don't even need it you know they they just using it by choice that will be less than 500 pound and now let me ask you this question how many time did you think about by how many time did you think before buying that 500 pound mobile i don't i think maybe just once and you say oh my god iphone 14 pro i'm going to get that now and you just yeah you went on and, and you you got that mobile okay now at the same time when it comes to selling online let's say you want to sell on ebay you want to sell on amazon I literally say people like if you even want to start wholesale you want to buy the things in bulk from China okay you spend 500 pound on the on anything you don't understand let's say in a worst case scenario you buy something you have no idea you didn't do the product research you done nothing you bought that thing for 500 pound okay you lost that money in a worst case scenario what going to happen it's not going to end your life at the end that mobile where you spend over 500 pound is not going to last you more than 2 years for sure after 2 years you're going to sell that for i don't know 100 pound i don't know some people will be smart and say oh i bought mine from facebook marketplace and i'm going to sell it i'm only going to lose 100 pound people go and buy new car on a finance like a new car or a finance they pay i don't know their salary is 1500 pound and they are paying uh, 550 pound for a bmw car finance they don't think 50 times before doing that type of dumb shit but when it comes to running business i find it very offensive to be honest with you like they are it's all as i said it's mindset all mindset they got to think okay i need to get some kind of free tool if that free tool 
if if it's you are going to waste extra three hours on some kind of free tool where you pay five dollars for some paid tools which can do the same job within five minutes i will i work to buy back my time you know what i mean if anything makes my life easy i'm just gonna go and buy that so that's uh, the thing Thanks, and it's well understood. I probably didn't make it clear. I wanted to know if you pay tax on a little that you first sale, uh, which could be, yeah, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not particularly picking on someone. I understood your question. I, I, I truly, I wasn't picking on you. I'm talking about general mentality of the people. You know, that is, I see that every single day. But the thing is, you cannot be, trust me. If you don't change the way you're going to think about it, it's it's not going to help you. And these are my like type of every single day discussion, right? With my friends go out on a weekend, right? And because they know I sell on eBay and Amazon, uh, you know, online business, all that kind of stuff. We're, we're sitting together, the, you know, three people are eating outside somewhere. The bill is not going to be, you know, in a in a very cheap restaurant, it's not going to be less than fifty pound, right? So you three people you eat in together, you know, bill gonna be maybe hundred pound, hundred and twenty pound. And uh, I think to myself, I say, okay, well, that we spent literally like you know fifty pound on the meal right here without thinking a lot. You know what I mean? But it when it when it comes to spending money on a business, we think like I don't know two hundred times, and we surround ourselves with all kind of fears and all kind of suspicion. Oh my God, this is this is uh, too competitive. Amazon is a scam. You know everybody is selling on Amazon. How I'm gonna make money on Amazon? Oh, okay now. Accounts are getting bad. Oh my God. Oh my God. Accounts are getting suspended now. Or oh, dropshipping is against terms and conditions. Some scholars will come up and they're going to say dropshipping is haram. My mufti said dropshipping is haram. And the mufti himself is making money by doing dropshipping. <laughs> so I'm not making fun. I'm a Muslim myself. So I can't do that. You know, those are... I see these comments and makes me furious sometimes, really. Makes me literally furious. Like, what world we are living in? What we are even doing? Seriously. We, as I said, we want to build a billion pound business. And we are thinking about, you know, a, a, a 10 pound dropshipping software. So that does not, it, it, that mentality will not change. And I understand, but the, the people like me, the only job we can do is to at least deliver a message. Like that's not the way to live life. If you really want to do the thing at the end of the day. So you see, yes, Sam, quickly somebody jumped inside. Dropshipping is harab. Dropshipping is haram, you know, and the Mufti who said that he might be doing dropshipping himself. You know what I mean? He might be making money from dropshipping every single day. But we're going to be like, oh, my God, this is haram. We can't do that. And uh, on the Internet, you can literally find anything, anything negative nowadays as well. And we surround ourselves with these type of thing all the time. With, with these type of, uh, uh, you know, mindsets all the time. Before we start any kind of business, you know, we are in a fight or flight mode. Most likely we take flight. <laughs> if we don't fight, that's not in us. Like, it wasn't in me for a long time. We take flight. We say, oh my God. Okay, first of all, I think it's too late to start selling on Amazon. I'm not going to do it. Oh my God, I'm going. I'm out from here. It's, it's late. It's scab. And now the next thing, okay, well, somebody tried to convince you, no, it's not late. Come on, like, you know, these are 
the people like these are baking a lot of money. Like, come on, go ahead. Like, you can do that too as well. Oh my God, now I have a job. I, I, I have a family. I have a wife. Uh, I, I, I can't do that. Like, you know, you're going to happily work for your boss for next 50 years on, I don't know, 2,000 pound a month. But you're not going to take one hour on the side where you can put uh, down a mobile phone. Like, be serious. How much time do you spend on your mobile phone? We all all do that just take one hour spend that time learning something be lit show little bit courage you know what i mean invest in yourself and you work on it consistently i can't say how long it's gonna take you to change your life but it's literally gonna change your life at the end of the day 